I am a medical doctor. Mm. I recently graduated, and I just started my job uh, here uh, in Copenhagen uh, in a surgical uh, department, general surgery. Mm. It's related to the diseases of uh, stomach and intestine and everything that is related to the abdomen. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, I, I receive uh, different patients, like male and female patients. And uh, one of the most important things to reach the diagnosis is that I must touch uh, my patients. Mm-hmm. I must touch their stomachs to feel what's going on inside the um, stomach. So my question is that, uh, is it permissible for me to touch uh, the female uh, patients with these problems? Got your question. And first of all, I'd like to congratulate you for getting your MD degree and license. Congratulations. Thank you. Secondly, the Muslim community in Copenhagen is definitely for need for people like you. A Muslim woman, her top priority is to be checked by a female Muslim doctor. If there is no female Muslim doctor, then a female non-Muslim doctor. If there is none, then a, a male Muslim doctor, where there comes your role. So if she comes to you as the alternative, then it is permissible for you to touch with your hands. If it is required, if it is possible while wearing gloves, you should wear gloves. If it is required to do the physical examination by your hand in order to determine whether it is the colon or the appendicitis or the liver or whatever, then it is permissible. Keep in mind that by law and before that Islamically, a man and a woman should not be alone by themselves even while you're practicing your profession. So her uh, husband, son or brother or ever is with you or the nurse, you do it professionally. And then it is permissible to examine the patient even if she is female. Because not too many females actually go into the field of general surgery. Thank you.